Nachos, get out. Peeing on stuff. What you know, pretty girl? Huh? You're famous now, you know that? You don't even know you're famous. Well, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. My name is Kevin. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, be sure to check out all our future videos. Today, we are going to be putting the uh, Kubota M59 tractor with the backhoe to work. We're not going to be doing any uh, big uh, livestock projects. Today, we're going to be planting a couple of trees, actually three trees. And uh, I, this is something that I have been wanting to try. And I'm not going to tell you what these are just yet, but... These are trees that, uh, they, it's pretty much what it is. It's tropical fruit that grows in the Ozark areas. It grows up north and then it grows all the way east to like Virginia. And what these are are pawpaw trees. And I keep hearing everybody talk about pawpaw fruit. And I have been wanting to try it for several, several years. And I can never find any. Uh, this year I have been hitting up tons of farmers and other people that i know that grow these pawpaw trees like in missouri around the ozark mountain area uh even blue ridge mountain areas around virginia and places like that and i cannot find anybody that will ship us some pawpaw fruit so i said you know what year after year i keep hearing all these stories about how it's like the um, only tropical fruit that grows in the you know in middle america pretty much north america but I have not ever tried it. Everybody says it tastes kind of like a mix between a banana and a mango. And some, some people say banana pineapple. I don't know. I want to try it. I want my family to be able to try it. Um, I have heard stories that they grow here in Oklahoma. Because we are right here in the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. But I cannot find any trees around our property. And I don't know anyone around that actually has found any. Personally, um, I just know right up the road in Missouri... Uh, you can go to like farmers markets and stuff right now in September and October and supposedly you're supposed to be able to find them and uh, there's so many uh, awesome ways to prepare them you can eat them raw so I have never tried one I wanted someone to try to ship us a few I offered several uh, people that have these trees growing you know native on their land or if they just grow them in their orchards or whatever I uh, emailed several different people and asked them if they'd ship us a few. I'd pay everything, but they would not ship them. They said by the time they get there, they will not be any good. They'll be black and they'll be overripe. So, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever tried a pawpaw fruit? So, what we're going to do today, we're going to go over here to our little apple orchard. Uh, I think we got five apple trees and we got three pear trees, but we're going to go over here where our apples are. We're going to use the Kubota. We're going to work smarter and not harder today. And what we're going to do is we're going to dig some holes with the backhoe. And then we're going to plant these little trees. I actually found these on eBay. And these little guys aren't cheap. They're about, oh, two and a half to three foot tall. And I haven't even taken them out of the little uh, containers that they were shipped in. So I don't know how the roots are. But you can kind of see the foliage on them kind of look a little bit tropical. And like I said, it is almost fall time here in Oklahoma. Uh, we got a couple more weeks probably before the trees really start turning you can see behind me maybe some of our trees are starting to turn colors because the time of the daylight per day is going down every day so the grass kind of start starts to slow down growing and the trees start you know start shedding their leaves and turning the uh, fall foliage colors and uh the instructions that the seller sent with these little pawpaw trees said to make sure you want to plant these um while they still have leaves on the uh plant if they don't have leaves then they recommended waiting until the springtime so you can see here these are still green they still got uh, leaves on there and they should for another couple weeks maybe a month or so so what we're going to do is go ahead and use the backhoe and get us some nice holes drilled and uh, let me show you guys what we got here i went ahead and cheated and i got some of this uh tree shrub and garden soil and what i'm going to do is I'm gonna load that up in the hole and plant the tree. And then we're also gonna use these uh, Job's fertilizer spikes for fruit and citrus trees. What do you know, Skeeter, come here. What do you think, we're gonna get these trees planted, buddy? Huh? Come here. You wanna say hi? Say hi to everybody, he got a haircut. He's feeling fresh today. We got some nice weather, it's cooled down. 
So uh, what better time to get these trees planted? So let me get this stuff loaded up and we'll take the tractor over to our little apple orchard <laughs> and we'll start digging some holes. I'm gonna measure out and I'll, we'll talk about that when we get over there. So today's video is brought to you by Trade Coffee. And if you guys are tired of the same old boring coffee over and over, look no further, we have a solution for you. So if you guys are interested in trying different varieties of coffee, you can go to drinktrade.com, you take an online quiz, and they customize different flavors of coffee to your liking. And they ship it straight to your door, you try it out, you leave a review, you rate it. If it's something you like, you can keep continuing to get that however frequently you want, or you can try something else. So drinktrade.com offers this freshly roasted coffee in whole bean form or ground straight to your door from one of the nation's top roasters. And if you guys click on the link below, your first bag will be 30% off. So do me a favor and check out drinktrade.com and customize your own coffee. All right, guys, we got a heavy load here, so we're gonna use the uh, big tractor and uh, carry all this over there and get to digging some holes. actually on the other side of the fence today she's over here with her boyfriend i guess so arnold so anyways uh we are out here in our little apple orchard like i said we only have five trees and uh this year our apples did not produce this is these trees are actually like two and a half years old two years old now and um last year they actually did produce a little bit this year they didn't hardly produce anything because we got a lot of late frost and it actually froze the buds and we didn't hardly have any apples i think i got one tree left and that has like one apple on it so anyways um i just noticed i got some bag worms on this tree here so i'm gonna get some dawn dish soap or something hopefully if i can remember and spray these down and hopefully it'll kill these worms but here you can kind of see i got uh four trees right here in a row and then i got two over here and on these pawpaw trees the instructions said they need to be a minimum of 12 feet apart so what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is i kind of want to keep the line going here and uh i don't want to go i don't want to add an extra row so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come off probably 12 feet or maybe 14 feet because these trees are 14 feet and i think i'm going to uh measure out 14 feet and dig my first hole and then i'll measure out 14 feet two more times you just got some goats over there being mean to each other but yeah, so uh, that's probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start measuring, try to get my uh, trees straight, and I'm going to start digging holes and go from there. I need to space them out accordingly. See how far apart they are this way. Fourteen by fourteen. All right, let's get our first one marked and get to digging.
Perfect. All right guys, so we got our hole dug here. And like I said, is we have a lot of rocks here in our uh, soil. So I'm gonna kind of cheat and use a stay green tree, shrub and garden soil. And it also has fertilizer in there. And I got some of the fertilizer spikes. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is get a bunch of these bigger rocks out, <clears throat> kind of put them to the side. And like I said, I don't know how big the roots are on these little trees that I bought. So we'll get one out and uh, kind of stick it down in here and then we'll pour some of this dirt in there. You gonna help me? No. <laughs> Your turkey's out. Sure, I'll hand that to you. I don't know how this... What are you planting again? Pawpaw trees. Oh yeah. Hey, it has lights on it. Where? Right here. Uh oh. It ain't gonna work over here in the grass. What are you planting? Some trees. Paw paw trees. So I can figure out how to get them out of there. Paw paw. That's what, what? Let me see this. I ain't got to drive this. Oh my god. Wait, what, Mom? Mom, what? 
I thought Daddy could show the viewers what you got for your birthday. All right, guys, so you can see the roots are about a foot down from the base of the tree. And these are actually clones. These were not grown from a seed. These were grown from like grafts. Skeeter's inspecting here. So, you want to help me, Caleb? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Come here. <clears throat> so today is actually Caleb's uh, birthday. How old are you, Caleb? 11. Huh? 11. Did you have a good birthday? Yeah. Did you get to spend the day with your grandparents and your family? Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, he's over here playing with the little remote control car. I haven't shown it yet, but we'll show it here in a little bit. I'm gonna get him to what help if, me. Uh, what if you put a camera on the uh, uh, car? Yeah, we might be able to put a GoPro on there sometime and go maybe take it out to the goat field or something. We can try that one day. You need to build a ramp. You think ramp. that'll be funny? Huh? Here, I'll let you record and me and Caleb will get this tree, these trees planted. Come here and hold this for me. Okay. Hold it right there. We might have to pull it up a little bit because I think I dug the hole a little deeper than it needs to be, but that's okay because we're going to fill it with this good dirt. Not this rocky dirt that we got. And uh, adding this good soil instead of all this rocky soil will actually give the roots a little more room to uh, expand and come out and grow and not just be stuck down here in a circular pattern. So now we'll just kind of fill this in. You gotta even it out. Yep, even it out and then we'll, here in a minute, when we get them all done we'll go and water it in real good. Fill it back in. We'll wait and we'll use the backhoe to get some of these rocks out. That's a good evening. Yep. All right, so I'm going to get busy. I'm going to measure the rest of these out and uh, go ahead and dig them, and then we'll be back to do the cleanup. of them planted the three pawpaw trees are planted in the ground and uh i got a ton of rocks in here look at this so living in the foothills of the ozarks is all pretty and nice and stuff until you start doing digging jobs stuff like that these bags are full of rocks and you better not be getting in there you just had a, a bath today buddy <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna water them real good skeeter get out of the mud get out of there and what we got are these Job's fertilizer spikes. And guys, you can get these on Amazon. We use these every year on all our fruit trees. And they seem to do really good. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys are interested. They have them for evergreen trees. They have them for fruit trees. And I'm not really sure what else. But uh, we'll probably put uh, one of these around each tree. And then some of our uh, bigger trees, we might do a couple spikes. We'll see how many we have left. So uh, the instructions actually said to water around the base of the tree really good and then apply these. And they come with a little cap right there that you put on top of them and then you kind of hammer them in the ground. But as you can see up here, I don't know how well it's going to work. Rain on Miss Kaya. That's just me and Caleb were playing on the trampoline. You were playing on the trampoline? Uh -huh. All right. What are you doing here? We've got some uh, pawpaw trees planted. Pawpaw trees? Yep. Well, I don't know exactly because I've never seen one, but it's kind of, it's a tropical fruit that has grown here for a long time in America. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. It's like the, one of the only tropical fruits that's native to the United States. Wow. So we're going to try to grow them here on our property. What do you think? Think it'll work? Yeah, we'll be famous. We'll be famous? No, they already grow wild. We just don't have them here on our property. So we're going to try oh. to... You got leaves in your hair. You got spider webs. I know. <laughs> so guys, if you grow pawpaws or if you know where we can grow or if you know where we can buy pawpaws online or if you have access to buy any and you would be willing to ship us some, we want to try them really bad and uh, let us know. We will pay the shipping. We'll pay for everything. We just really want to try some pawpaws. And um, it's probably going to be at least a couple years if these make it and do well. Uh, we got three planted, so we should be good on the pollination. But yeah, if you guys grow pawpaws or you have them uh, around your place or anything and you're willing to sell us some, we will gladly buy some because I truly want to try these pawpaw fruits and I cannot find anywhere online that will ship them or any kind of uh, farmer's market in our area that carries them. So yeah, if you... Uh, Want to hook us up, send me an email or leave a comment and we will get in touch. So right now, I think this one's watered pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the water over here. I'm going to start driving the uh, fertilizer spikes. Let's see here. Can I help? Sure. I don't know how much there is to help because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Just don't get on muddy. Okay, let's find the remote control car. He likes that car, don't he? Mm -hmm. it, it was, uh, yeah, we already talked about it. Well, though, I don't know where you were. You were in the house. All right, so it does come with a couple of these little caps, and that's what they look like. So I'm going to put it on there. Should we put it and, around it? Yep, you just put them, pretty much you put it on the drip line. I'm going to stay away from the roots. Kind of hammer it down like that. Nope. Here, I'll let you do the next one. I already got this one. Okay. Okay? Alright. So that one's good to go. Uh, the instructions say to put these on the drip line of the tree. Which, on these little trees, they don't have much of a drip line. So I'm just going to put it about three inches from the uh, trunk of the tree. And uh, there we go. Every time it rains, it'll get a little fertilizer. Yep. Alright. Get your spike. Mm -hmm. I think that's the spike end. Put it on that like that. Don't put it right up against the tree. Kind of keep it away a little ways. Okay. Put it like right there. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to use the hammer. Just push it down. There you go. <laughs> that's what happens when you use bag dirt. It don't have rocks in it. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Alright. I think we're ready to move to the next one. You want to get the water hose? Yeah. And go back around on that side of the tree. Drag it on that side and then we'll come over here and water this last one. Where? Right here. The new one. Just put it not right on it. Just put it up above it. Right here? Yeah, that'll work probably. Yeah. Yep. We'll just let that water run to the tree. Mm -hmm. Alright, you want to do the last spike? Yeah. And then I'll do these big trees. Mm -hmm. Here you go. You should just be able to push it down. Of course. Wait, what uh, the spiky in that one right there. Yep. You like getting dirty because you don't even wear shoes outside. Yeah, I know. Put it a little closer. A little closer? Yep, right there. Yeah. Try to put it straight down. There you go. That's good. Oh, whoa, whoa. that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, that was right. It's fine. Yeah, look at your leg. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna put a few spikes around these existing apple trees that's already kind of grown and it tells you how many spikes per diameter of trunk and all that on the back of this package i'm just going to put two around every one of these trees
one of the turkey hens is out. So, let's see if we can't get her back in here. You guys know that these things are not the smartest animals on the farm. Not even close. Come on, turkey. Please don't run all the way down. There's a gate over there, girl. I don't think I can catch you. Unless you run right to me. Come on, go. As long as she gets back in the yard, I'm not so worried. I just don't want no dogs or anything, coyotes to get her. Because Mojo and Daisy don't get out on this side of the fence. There you go. All right, so while we're out here, I just seen some wonderful fall time bee food and let's talk about this real quick. I believe this is goldenrod. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what they call goldenrod and it's supposed to be really awesome for bees. Leave a comment down below if you know for sure. Got some over there by the pond too and uh, some right here on our old driveway. But supposedly if that is goldenrod, that's one of the best uh, bee food foliage that you can have in the fall time it gives them some late uh summer early fall maybe late fall uh food stores so they can kind of go harvest and uh pack away for the winter time to uh munch on to get through all the cold time so let me get this gate closed back up and we'll end this video so before end the video somebody wants to say hi you know pretty girl huh you're famous now, you know that? You don't even know you're famous. <laughs> Here. Here. All right. So this turkey's in, but she's not in the pen with the rest of them. So guys, I'm in, truly enjoying this weather. It's super nice, it's cool. It's pretty much fall time. Come on, Red. I think the hot summer days are gone. That's why I went ahead and uh, ordered these trees. It's time to start planting trees. It's fall time pretty much. If you guys have been waiting or putting off planting any trees, I know in this area in Oklahoma, you should be good to go. Uh, early fall and springtime is the prime time to be planting fruit trees and stuff like that. So I went ahead and took advantage and we'll see how these pawpaw trees do. Hopefully they do good. They survive the winter and then the springtime they take off growing the roots take off you guys seen i spent a little more money and i got the good uh tree and shrub soil with the fertilizer and filled in the hole hopefully that gives them a big boost and then the fertilizer spikes as well we'll kind of feed them over winter time and uh fingers crossed and uh we really want to try these pawpaw fruits and if these things grow good i don't know we might get some next year i really doubt it usually on fruit trees and stuff it'll take two to three years before you get any kind of fruit but you just never know. So the girls are up there playing basketball or something. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. I don't even know what the title is going to be. Something about tropical fruit of the Ozarks or something like that. I don't know. I try to be creative. Try to come up with new things. So you just never know what our title is going to be. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when we post a new video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you got those pawpaws. And we'll see you next time.